Hello, everyone. I'm back again. I know I've been taking a lot of breaks recently. Um, it's about six months between last video and now, but I'm back here with another amazing tutorial, like always, going to deliver you the best of information to help you on building your rooms with CB2. So today we have a health bar, and we're basically just going to be using the HUD chips to do this, and all you're going to need is those set of chips and an integer variable um, to control the health. So an integer variable named health, something like that. Let's get right into it. So just for as like a little prepping thing, I have here a button that will set the integer with the health on it to 100. As soon as I click the button, it's just going to set the integer back to 100 from whatever it was before. So if you're planning to test this multiple times uh, to kind of fine tune everything, you're going to want this button to switch your health back to 100 so you can retest. What we're going to want to get from the Maker Pen palette right now is the chip called game hud element constant we're just going to want to pull that out here and place that down right here and then we are going to configure it so what we want to do here is we want to first change the name to something like health bring that back over here submit that make sure you submit that or it's not going to change and then we are going to want to change the game hud element to primary and that's just going to put the health bar right at the bottom middle of our screen we want the max value but to be 100 and you don't really have to change this value right here uh, unless you want to i'm going to set the color to green so that's the usual color of health and then you can kind of see what your hud bar is going to look like when it's on your screen by clicking set game hud element values Once we have that configured, we want to actually set the game HUD um, value to the value of the health. So we are going to want to constantly change that. And that means we must get an event receiver. And you may think that we would use an update 30 hertz. And that is definitely a possible option. But if you want to keep your uh, CPU at a low we are going to actually use the health changed that's basically just going to set out an output whenever this integer changes at all and then we are going to get a set hud value you're going to search up set hud and then find the set game hud element value there it is and then we're just going to put that down right there, connect this target thing to our HUD element. Um, then we're going to set the value to the value of the health and set the game value or the execution to the event receiver health changed. And that's really all you need. Um, now, whenever your player with the um, health integer takes damage or anything, that's going to update on their screen. So just to make sure that everything's working correctly, we are going to um, quickly put this HUD thing on our screens. So I'm just gonna duplicate this button right here and I am going to get a, just search up HUD once again. And we are going to look for the set gum or set game HUD element label enabled or not label. It should just be set HUD element enabled. There we go, this chip right here. So once we do that, we are going to want to just hook up the button pressed to the set HUD element enabled and the target to the health and then set that to true. When we press the button, you see we have our health bar now. Um, I want to change this to 100, so I'm just going to really quick set the value to 100 just to get that working and then i am also going to set up something so we can remove health from the player to check if this works so we're just going to duplicate another button and at this we are going to get a subtract 
and this is basically just going to take away health from me. And then you're going to put those two up and we are going to set the value to something like 30. It really doesn't matter whatever amount of health you want to be taken away from the player. And then as you can see, if I push the button, my health bar is going to go down. So there you have it. It's a pretty short tutorial, I know. I wanted to make things quick and easy for anyone that wanted to just watch this video, get that in their rooms and continue making. So that is the health bar and making it in Rec Room. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I'll be sure to try to check them as much as I can. Give me a like if this helped and I will see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.